about to watch Red, White, and Royal Blue. I read the book earlier this year, and the movie came out one minute ago. What was that? We'll report back on how it is afterwards. All right, here is the mango ice cream that we made. It is not quite frozen yet, but I skimmed off the top and got this out of it, and it's yummy. It has a strong coconut flavor with a hint of mango. Maybe next time I'd put extra mango in, but it's still really yummy. Beautiful. All right, so I haven't caught up on here in a little while, but where I left off, I believe, was we watched Red, White, and Royal Blue. What is on this? Anyway, and it was pretty good. If I hadn't read the book, I might have different opinion, a different opinion on it, but they left out some very integral characters to the story, and it was kind of upsetting, and they did skip out on a couple scenes that would have been really... They're just, like, scenes that should have been in the movie, so it was a little sad, but overall it was still a good movie. I would watch it again, but I am a little sad that they got rid of two very important characters, and they got rid of the ice cream scene, so... Anyway, and then on Friday, we went out to eat with Cody's sister and her boyfriend and his cousins. I got a Mediterranean bowl from Max Diner, and it was really, really good. So, it's like kale, quinoa, chickpeas, tomatoes, Mediterranean dressing and stuff like that. It was really good. And then yesterday, I went to see... Jagged Little Pill with my sister at the Orpheum. If you don't know what that is, it's a musical based off of the album Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. So it has all the songs from that album plus some more that she wrote that make it, you know, into a story. Uh, but, like, they wrote extra songs to go in it. So there's more than just the Jagged Little Pill songs, but it's a really good show and it was really, it was really, really good. I was very impressed and I loved it. The music obviously and the story had a had a good message uh, as well so then we had a fire last night with Cody's family and today I've just been chilling I got really far on Sally crocheting I don't know if I showed you guys Jack yet but I finished Jack Skellington crocheting him and I'm pretty far with Sally I'll show you in a little bit but very proud of that it's been really fun and relaxing and yeah I made some vegan Samoas as well they were super easy to make. I haven't tasted them yet, though, but I'll show you those another time, maybe tomorrow. But anyway, that's all. That's all I had to catch you up on. Oh, I went to Coffee Smith with my sister, too, before we went to see Jagged Little Pill, and we tried their lemon poppy seed coffee. I got it in a latte, and she got it in a cold brew, and it was so good. Like, it actually tasted like you were drinking a lemon poppy seed muffin, so that was really good. And we also got their bagel sandwich, which is amazing. We've had it before. And their mango chia pudding, which is also amazing. Oh, and on Friday night, we also went to a place called High Flora, where we got some fun mocktails and 
some THC infusions in there too, which was a fun time. So that's everything. That's all. It's Sunday night. I'm not excited to work tomorrow, but it is what it is. So I'll catch up with you later. All right, I wanted to show these Samoas that I made. They're like, they're vegan, not that that matters, but they're like homemade. And look how beautiful this is. Like, it looks like the real deal. And I'm gonna try one. They smell really good. I tasted a piece of the cookie like part of it yesterday and it was so good. I wanna save this for a dessert after dinner though, but I wanna try one quick for the camera. Um, it's just coconut, toasted coconut, oats, dates, vanilla, um, salt, and dark chocolate. It's amazing. It's so good. That's one of the best desserts I've made in the past months. Like, it's it's so good. It's so easy. You'll need to try it. I'm not even kidding when I say that's probably my favorite dessert I've maybe ever made. And it's so easy. Like I said. So, anyway. All right. I also know that I said I would show you Jack and Sally. <laughs> Bear with me. Sally looks pretty funny right now. But Jack is finished, so, ooh, that's not going to work. Not going to work. That's not good lighting. Okay, we'll go right here. All right, here's Jack. Obviously, he's not perfect, but it was my first time crocheting a big project like this. Like, I've made the woobles, but this was definitely a lot harder than the woobles. But I think he turned out really good. I'm excited to have him for Halloween and now I just have to finish Sally but this is what she looks like right now. Her head's a little wobbly. I need to um I stuck a skewer down Jack's head and like it comes with a pipe cleaner but it's not very sturdy so I'm gonna do that with hers too and then obviously I need to make her hair and her dress as well so she's a little a little scary looking right now but she will be done. So here they are together. <laughs> And yeah, anyway, I just want to show you that. I'm very proud of it. Now I want to make the whole book. It only comes with the stuff to make Jack and Sally, but it gives you the patterns for like the rest of the characters, like the Oogie Boogie Man, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, Santa, San Jack as Santa, the Mayor, Zero, all those. So I would like to make them all at some point, but for this Halloween, I'll probably just have those two. All right, so for, oh, I just stepped in something sticky. Gross, 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 gross. For dinner today, I'm making a southwestern pasta salad with a creamy salsa cilantro dressing. It looks like that. It sounds incredible, so I'm gonna make that now. And I'll taste it after. <laughs> All right, here is the finished product, and here's my bowl. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The sauce is the best part. It's so good. It's got 
salsa in it and that just does it for me so this is delicious we're gonna go watch boy meets world i'll put the recipe down below and i'll see you in my next vlog